Hi and welcome back to Animation Deconstructed. My name is Shul Gonsalves and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a quick and easy way to relight your footage. If you don't want to spend a lot of time color grading your footage or images, these are some really helpful tips and they can be done in a few seconds. So if we just take a look at what I've got here, this is our base image and we can just relight it with some different colors and tones as we like. Let's jump straight to it. I've got an image here. I'm going to create a new composition, 1920 by 1080p. I'm going to press OK. I'm going to drop this image onto the composition. I'm going to zoom out, press the S key to scale, and just holding the control key or the command key, you can just be more precise. I'm going to let go and just move that up a touch. And let's zoom back into the footage. The next thing you want to do is right click in the timeline panel, go to new and adjustment layer. And in the effects and presets panel, just type in CC toner and double click that. Initially, you'll get this sepia tone kind of effect. And the way this technique works is just by adjusting the layer mode. So I'm going to go from normal and the first thing I want to show you is the soft light. So we just need to bring up the opacity. I'm going to press the T key and take that down to about 30%. Also what you want to do is your mid-tone of the CC toner is going to be a pure light source because we are actually relighting the scene with some color. So let's choose something more vibrant. Let's go to about pink and relight this with a bit of a purpley pink color. I'm going to hit OK. And with the soft light layer mode, you will see if I turn this on and off, we get a bit more saturation and contrast in our image. If you don't want that, you can also change this to color at the bottom here. And you'll see that if I turn this on and off, you won't get that change in your contrast. And you can take this down to about 20 to get a similar effect as before. The other thing that we can do is we can change this from tritone to pentone if you would like to be able to select two more colors. And with the brights, you would like to keep this closer to white but still getting some color in it. So let's uh, choose a blue here. And you can see our lights are now getting this blue kind of tone to it. And then our dark tones, you want to keep this down on this right side over here. So we're getting a pure color, but it's still getting to a darker area. And we can choose maybe a bit of a cyan touch to it. Cyan green. That's okay. The other thing I want to, the last thing I want to show you is that if you don't want to use your opacity to drive this layer, you can take that up to 100% and use this blend with original and this is just working on the opposite way that the opacity works so 70% blending with the original would be the equivalent of 30% and if we go to 80% we're back where we were at 20% of the opacity as you can see it's just opposite to each other that's it for this tutorial. If you found this helpful, give it a like and subscribe. Until next time.